Hey guys, it's Erica again. So it is April 3rd and today I am starting the Alexis Wren 10 minute ab workout. So I watched a video by Mia Maples and I'll like link that below. It's really, she did Alexis Wren's 10 minute workout video for 30 days. And you know what? I'm gonna do it too because she had some not drastic results but you could totally see them and I just want to see how it works for me and I'm going to record my results and tell them to you so I'm gonna start off by measuring my waist and showing you guys how I look right now just like Mia did and then we're gonna get started and I'm gonna do it once today and the next day and the next day and the next day for 30 days. Okay, so here's my stomach from the front and from the side and that's natural and here's it flexed from the front and the side and I'm just gonna measure my waist right now and see where I start and see if there's a difference where I end. So, right now my waist is almost 30 inches around so we'll see if anything happens. I just finished the 10 minute workout for day one. I can show you what I look like now day one after one workout and then I'll like check back in every let's do a week. Okay this is just now. Not really sure if there's much of a difference but my abs just worked out just now you know. Like I said, I'll continue this workout for 30 days, and this isn't the only thing that I'll be doing, because if you don't know me, I run, so I'll be doing my regular cardio every day, which I give myself different amounts of mileage and different workouts every day, so that'll be like a contributing factor, but that's like stays pretty constant, like that's consistent cardio that I'm getting in, so this is just an addition to what I do in my everyday life. So yeah, I'm excited to see if any results happen. I hope I get abs because I've been trying for a while and maybe this is the secret key. So yeah, I'll let you guys know. Keep you guys updated. Hey guys, it's about a week and a half after I started the Alexis Ryan workout and I just finished it today and right before that I had my private training for track. And um, just an update, I would have to say that the hardest exercise is the plank dips or side to side dips or whatever. Um, it is hard because she isolates like at the beginning, it's all like up type things. And then um, in the middle, it's all like either the flutters or like the leg lifts or the scissor kicks. And then at the end, it's all like plank work. So it like, that by the end it's really hard to do the plank work because my arms are so tired and just like when we get to the plank dips it's so hard. But anyways, I'll update you on what my body looks like. I don't know if anything's happened, but here we go. So here is the front view and there's the side view and that's flexed and flex and there's natural. And natural, so I don't know if that's a difference or not, but we'll see by the end. Hey guys, so it's the 17th day of the 30 the 30 day abs that I have been doing, the Alexis Run ab thing or whatever. And we're just gonna show you. I just came back from the gym and um did I just finished it and then drove here. So my abs were just engaged, not even a half hour ago. So let's see what's going on. So here's my stomach from the side, from the front, and here's flexed side and the front. So I'm starting to see like more definely the lines like going downwards. So that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing progress. I hope you guys are. I mean, we don't really know for sure, but I think we're improving, so that's good. So anyways, 13 more days. What's up, homies? As you can see, I'm sweating. I just finished my run today, and, and it is the 23rd day 
of me doing the Alexis Ren 10 minute ab workout. So I realized I haven't been doing much talking. I mean, I have been doing a lot of talking about it and not a lot of showing about it. So today I'm gonna film kind of like what some of the workouts are. And then of course I'll have the video linked in the description of this video. So we're gonna go get set up in the bathroom because that's where I always do it because I just like take a shower when I'm done then. So let's go. Oh my gosh, look at my hair. Okay, so clearly you just saw some of my some of the uh, stuff that I just did. So obviously I just interacted, so I guess I just, I'll just update you since we're already here, since you already know, since we just did all this, you know? So, tummy. My abs, they are still not there, you know, after 23 days. Um, I don't know how much improvement has happened since the beginning. I'd have to look at the first video, which I have not, because I want to be surprised, but I also, I've noticed that this rib is either bigger or sticks out more than the other one, so I don't know if that's like a factor into how my stomach looks. I mean, like, obviously, I should just eat better, which I do eat good, which is why this is so exciting why I can't get abs, but besides the fact, besides the problem, anyways, yeah. So, see you guys at the end in seven days. Hey everyone, I finished the month of abs. So, it's actually May 7th right now, and if you guys know, I started on April 3rd. But, I know I missed like one or two days, and so I just like, and I've been really busy with IV testing and stuff, so I've just been doing it every day a little bit extra or whatever, but I'm all done. I'll probably keep doing it though because I really like it. So overall I really like it and I recommend it to other people because I definitely started seeing way more definition in my abs and stuff and with eating healthy and cardio as well, I've seen lots of improvement. So the workout is effective, which isn't surprising, but I guess we can get to the moment of truth and measure my waist. I don't know like why my waist would shrink like in specifically to this workout, but just like with the lifestyle, the healthy lifestyle and the working out and the cardio and the abs, like maybe there was some change, but I know for sure there's more definition in my abs and I started to like just get them in general because at the beginning I just didn't have any at all really and yeah so I'll go get the measuring tape and then I'll show you my last view of my stomach and then we'll be out of here so let's get to it. All right so I'm wearing a huge t-shirt so I just tied that up but my final measurement looks like 28 and a half or maybe like 28 and three quarters let's see okay 20, I'm going to say 28 and 3 quarters, which I'm pretty sure I started with 30. Not sure. Dude, that's like a lot. Just for a month of like being good at life, eating and exercising and doing ab workouts. That's pretty great, guys. So, you know, so like here's my end result of my, here's flexed, here's the side view of that, y'all I feel great, and I just ate too, like I just had, um, it was a whole wheat flax tortilla type thing with ham and spinach on the inside, and I'm about to go finish my lunch and eat an egg, but I just remembered about this video, so, but holla, I'm pretty excited about this, so, let me know if you guys want to, like, know about my lifestyle, because now I know it works, guys. I can, like, tell you guys what I do, how, how I work out, 
um, what I eat, you know, just like let me know. Like I know that not a lot of people watch me, but like for those of you who do, just let me know because I'm hella excited right now. But anyways, that's the end of this 30 day whatnot, whatever. <clears throat> and I just want to thank you guys for watching. Um, coming along with me on this little health journey and obviously I'm going to continue this. I mean, I've been trying to eat way healthier lately and I'm finding all these recipes and stuff. Just thanks so much for watching, guys. This was fun. <sighs> Anyways, I hope you guys subscribe. Comment if you want anything, want to see anything from me. Um, like this video if you liked it because I liked it. And hope to see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>